All right, what's up everybody out there? Artist of Strong Style here. Now, okay, yeah, I showed you the deck profile of how three ritual monsters work together. You could run almost up to three ritual monsters. So yeah, the Lord of Ren, the Dark Master Zorg, and then of course, yeah, the Blue Eyes Cast Max Dragon. So if you haven't checked out the deck profile, maybe you want to check it out. Anyways, yeah, so here we go now. Let's, let's play the deck now. Let's see how it goes. Sorry, I never play competitive. I will never do tournaments. I will never do YCSs. I will never go around the damn world to get into tournaments. I mean, not bad to travel around the world. That would be pretty cool. But not to play... Well, fine. If you want to play cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, go ahead. But do it for fun. Don't do tournaments. Any other kind of game cards where it counts? Okay, gamble, fine. Gamble. But don't do it for Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Just play for fun for Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. Preparation of rights. Red Eyes Transmigration. Lord of Red. Send you Silver's Cry. And then a Book of Moon. Okay. You can go into either Lord of Red or Zorg. Dark Master Zorg. Because, okay. Preparation of rights. It's to get a Spell is to get a spell, ritual, and a ritual monster that combined. I wish you can get this, but no, you can't because it's it's saying Chaos or Chaos Black Soldier. It's not saying Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. You do already have Lord of Red right here. That would be getting Red Eyes Transmigration and Lord of Red. But your only other option you got is if you go with Contract with the Dark... Master and then Dark Master Zoid. Those work. So you can play either because, yeah, the requirement's going to be sending away either. So if you want to go Red Eyes Transmigration and play Lord of Red, you're going to have to get rid of Dark Master. Sword. Unless you want to play the opposite. Well, then you throw away Lord of Red and you play Dark Master Zork. For me, I would go with Red Eyes Transmigration. So, yeah, you're going to get rid of Zorg. And go Lord of Red. Now, you can go send you and go for a Ritual Monster. For me, though, I would go with rather gonna. Okay, since you already have Dark Master, maybe you want to go for a Zorg, another Zorg. Or I would go with Blue Eyes Cast Max Dragon. But, all right, let's try Dark Zorg because, yeah, you already have that. You got rid of one, but just search for your other. Because you had to give that one up to do. Uh, Lord of Red. So let me get you. Where are you? Here you are. Because, yeah, send you. Search for your ritual monster. Now remember, Lord of Red, you have two shots. Just set your Book of Moon. Do not need to do Silver's Cry yet. Because you do not have a normal dragon in there, which would be your blue eyes white dragon. So, yeah. One turn, you brought out a ritual, and you brought out a senju. So, yeah. Not bad. Your first turn, you brought out a ritual. So, yeah. When it comes to your opponent's turn, whatever it comes down to, if you're going against, um, yeah, like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, your opponent's going to play the, um, all right, a blue eyes deck. Polymerization? Okay, negate it. Negate polymerization. So you negated a magic card. If that had been the situation. 
negation. So you still have the negation of a mag of a monster activated of an of a card. All right, so let's go with that. So if they played something that would be like, um, let me see, what's there? I don't know. Think of anything that goes with a, an effect of using a monster. Monster effect, okay? Negate it and then destroy it. That's what you want to do. You draw blue eyes, alternative white dragon. Now, maybe go contract with the dark master now. Get rid of your blue eyes, alternative white dragon. Now go for your Dark Master Zork. Maybe set your Silver's Cry now, but it does not mean you can get your Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, because Silver's Cry is to get a normal, normal. So then you might want to go Zork's effect. Remember, let's roll and let's see what happens. It was a four. So a three, four, five, destroy one monster, destroy one monster my opponent controls. So right there now. Two, two monsters. Draw, chaos form. But you do not have. <laughs> oh, now you did. Okay, not bad, not bad. So yeah, it's just bringing out whatever you can. All right, card. So yeah, here we go. Let's try again. Let's see. Harpy's Feather Duster. Zorg. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Preparation of Rights. And a Manju. Raigeki. All right. You can go into Dark Master Zorg or you can go into. All right, first thing, I'm always going to go with go your preparation of rights. Your opponent might stop that with Ash Blossom. Because, yeah, anything you play, they're going to possibly want to Ash Blossom because they don't want you searching because you know you can search for whatever, rather your Zork or your... Or let's go Lord of Red this time. Lord of Red and then get Red Eye Transmigration. Red Eyes Transmigration. Get rid of Blue Eyes. Lord of Red. Give your Harpies and your Regeki. If you're going second, okay, yeah. Hopefully, you know, if they have back row, get, you, of course, you're going to want to get rid of all this. Or just, yeah, you have Lord of Red. You might want to go first, uh, Manju, but I would wait on that. Draw. Send you. Okay. Let's go, Manju. Search for any ritual monster or ritual spell. Activate, send away. Remember, just equal. Even if you wanted to get rid, of, even if you wanted to get rid of your send you, mind you, send you. That makes eight, and here you go. Now remember, also another card that they're going to possibly play on you is Evac Veiler. They're going to possibly negate the effect of Dark Master's Org, or they can go Evac Veiler. No, I'll play Lord of Red. Negate Evac Veiler's effect from their hand. Then just yeah, here we go. Draw one. Oh, one or two. Blow all my moss of my opponent's monsters. That was a good one. One. And I still have my harpy's feather destroy right geki. Or the add back. Remember, this just destroys all monsters. But if you want to destroy all magic and traps, then you have harpy's feather duster. You draw. Return of the dragon lords. Okay. This is when it's gonna get good for you. If your opponent still had monsters out. And you want a Raigeki? Okay, Raigeki. They're going to possibly want to play something where... No, no, no. I'm going to stop it. No. Lord of Red, I will stop all that. 
And then Return of the Dragon Lords, I will bring back out a dragon. Three monsters. A Lord of Red, Dark Master Zorg, and a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, if I did not, now if I did not play the effect of him, let's roll again because it's once per turn. Two again. One blow up all monsters my opponent controls. If they have nothing, well then there's no need to do the dice roll. And now it's huge. Now let's say it was the six, but you have Lord of Red. I'll negate it, so make sure my monsters are not gone. So I'll just negate it. But then again, when you negate a monster, blow up a monster. <laughs> so if I came down to six. Six. Okay, I have to destroy my monsters. No, I'll negate that because I can negate an effect monster and then just destroy a monster my opponent controls. So it's a little trick you can do sometimes. If you roll the six and you did not really want to roll that, well, you don't. And you have Lord of Red and you haven't even done the effect yet of negating a monster effect. Negate my monster effect so not so any of my monsters will not be destroyed because that's the effect of what Dark Master Zorg is. If you roll a six, blow up all monsters I control. Negate it and then just pop a monster my opponent controls. So yeah, little tricks you can do. Maybe it's something you did not want to do, which yeah, not roll the six, but then negate. Destroy a monster my opponent controls. You draw. Send you. Okay. You know, if you want to do send you. Well, then, there you go. All right. So, so far, so good. It's going all right. Senju, Melody, Blue-Eyes Chaos Max, Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon, A Book of Moon. Now it's different now. It seems like we got a different hand now with some dragons now. Okay. Draw. Contract with the Dark Master. Okay. You got a lot right here. All right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What What do you want to start off with? Okay. <laughs> you can start off possibly anyway. All right. I'm going to go with Melody of the Awakening. Discard one card. Let's get rid of... Oh, God. What are you going to go with? What are you going to go with? I'm just going to go with getting rid of... Um... Contract, then. I believe so, or let me see, do I want to go with anything else? Let me see, a lot of them. Yeah, Dark Oak Contact, I'll go with. It's worth a shot. So, get two dragons. So, a blue eyes white dragon. And to tell you the truth, a blue eyes jet dragon. <laughs> oh no, let me rephrase that then. Let me go book a moon, I'll send away. Book a moon. Because then send you, I forgot, send you. Searches for a. Dark Master Zork, okay. There we go. That's the way to do it. All right, so you have your Senju out. That's your normal summon. Reveal a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my hand. Special summon Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Contract with the Dark Master. Get rid of the blue eyes white dragon, not chaos. Because then special summon Dark Master Zorg. If you want to take a shot, we can. So let's roll. Now remember, you do not have Lord of Red. So if it's a six, well then we got stuck. It was the six. Oh god, that, that's no good. <laughs> it would be destroying everything. Okay. All right, let's put it back to if it's not six. If it was not six, what would it be then? Five, so blow up a monster. 
Ah, that was tough right there. But I'm just playing to let you know. Okay, so yeah. If you roll six, that's tough. It would have been wiped out. I would have been wiped out instantly. But let's say, okay, it wasn't the six. Because then I'm just going to show you what happens if, yeah. They want to kill my Senju? Go ahead. As long as any of my monsters are going to be destroyed. As long as you have a blue eyes in your hand, in you know, on the field or in your... And then there you go, right here. Two blue eyes cast max dragons in your hand, and then you have all this. If you want to, yeah, we can do the effect of blue eyes alternative white dragon, blow up a monster, but then it would not be able to attack because you did the effect. Or in Dark Master's Org, one, blow up all monsters my opponent controls. So it's a risk. <laughs> Draw, Lord of Red. Okay, you just have this. Oh my god. Okay. And just, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, gamble move. Gamble move if you're going to do Dark Master Zork. Powerful effect, but it's, uh, you just don't want to roll a six. Migration, blue eyes, monster reborn, zork, regeki. Oh, God, okay, let's not be... It all, it all depends on your draw, then. What's this? What's it going to be? Advance Arch Ritual. Okay, lucky right there. We were lucky. Because in Advance Arch Ritual, uh, that was a lucky move right there. Send away a... Yeah, that was luck. If we did not... Because even if you got your contract with Dark, Dark Lord Master, or at least your Lord of Red, that would have still been good for you because that could be... Using blue eyes, white dragon in your hand. So, the only option right now is okay. Let's send away a blue eyes, white dragon. Since that's your normal monster, you are sending away. Then you're gonna summon out Dark Master Zork. If you have, if you're going against monsters, you do not need to use this effect. Then just go Raigeki. It just sucks that it wasn't an effect where it can be destroy all magic or traps also. Like, what if it said one, one or two? Destroy all monsters my opponent controls. Four or five? Destroy all, destroy all magic and traps my opponent controls. And if it was a six, well, then you blow up your own. Why well, couldn't it be something like that? But I guess how they made the card does not say anything about hitting back row. That would have been cool if they did do that, though. And then if you want to bring out a second monster, bring what you threw away into the graveyard. With Monster Reborn. Let's roll. Oh, that was... Okay, it seemed like it went to six, but it went to five. Okay, blow up a monster my opponent controls. You saw right there, it almost went to six to like a flip to five. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> All right, then, so blow up my opponent, blow up one of my opponent's monsters. Draw. All right, Manju, we're good right here. Remember, I'm just going and I'm just going like if there was no stopping me, you know, like no no magic or trap would stop on me. Of course, it could have been stopped by Yvette Veiler, Forbidden Droplets, Infinite Impermanence, Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre. I do not have a lot of monsters, so it can't be Nibiru. So if I'm just continuing on, like nothing's going to happen to me. Okay, then let's just continue on then. Better transmigration. Send away your blue eyes. Summon out your Lord of Red now. You can risk it again, but remember, you have Lord of Red now. So if it's a six, you can negate that. Let's see what it's going to be. It was three. So blow up a monster my opponent controls. Only one or two blows up all, all monsters my opponent controls. All right. So good there. 
Even if my opponent wanted to Forbidden Droplet, like, no, I'll Forbidden Droplet. No, I'll activate the effect, negate that magic card, so the effect would still go blowing up a monster my opponent controls, negate it, and I was negating a spell card, so it'll destroy a spell or trap card my opponent controls. But then I would have lost that effect, but I still have the effect of if my opponent would have played a monster effect on that. On the turn you are doing this, pop a monster. And then it reverses right back to you, your turn, and you have the effects once again. Either player's turn. Because it does not say only on your turn or only on your opponent's turn. No, either player's turn. So let's draw. Okay, Book of Moon. Just, you know, set. And yeah, you have a huge board again. So let's go again then. That was four. Blow up a monster. So you do not need to do it. Advance Arch Ritual, but you don't have a... Oh, send you then. Yes, you would do it. But then you have a huge lineup right here already. So yeah, fun. I'm just surprised yet. No Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon yet. <laughs> But yeah, you see, and don't always depend on Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Of course, of course, I would want to see that all the time since that's like the best one to bring out. But if you could bring out these others and they have good effects also, well then, bring those out. And I think it gets more interesting when you're using so many kind of um, rituals you can make. And yeah, it's almost like the whole entire time I'm not really dead drawing because preparation of rights can already start you with a ritual combo so mind you harpy's feather duster contract with the dark master return of the come on let's see what this is gonna be okay monster reborn oh come on draw a blue eyes white dragon or something already come on draw it blue eyes jet dragon damn it no that, that wasn't what i wanted to draw Oh, wait, no. Yes, I can. My mistake. Because <laughs> I have it already. Okay, yeah. Manju, summon. So, yeah, it seems like always I'm missing. I'm just missing one part. Like, no, I can do it already. Okay. Dark Master Zork. Okay. I keep on forgetting I have that one simple play. So, yeah, even with these cards out you think you can't do a ritual summon no you can it's gonna be this watch watch closely here so you have your manju dark contract right let's roll four blow up a monster my opponent controls Let's go return to the Dragon Lords. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Draw. Send you. Okay. You can, but you have no other ritual. You, you need a ritual card before I would say doing anything. Okay. If you want to bring out a second one, you can. This is like really the only option you have right now of bringing out rituals is your Dark Master Zork right now. Activate, send away a second Dark Master Zork. Let's roll. Damn it. That would have been, oh God. Wiping all this out. Maybe Harpy's Feather Sister, but at least you have, yes, just bring one out. Or even just your blue eyes jet dragon, since that's the highest attack. Let's just go. You want to bring that out. You don't want to deal with your deal with those right now. So that's your only option you got. Advanced arch ritual is what you have. Well, what's the draw? Melody of the Awakening. Okay, this is your only option then. Blue eyes. Blue eyes alternative. Reveal blue eyes. Special summon then. Melly of the Awakening once again. Come on. That's all you got.
All right, then let's go one more time and then let's see what happens. Wow, this time you did draw it, okay. Whoa, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Manju. Blue eyes, white dragon, okay. What's your fifth card? Alternative white dragon, okay. And a blue eyes jet dragon. Okay, now we can do something. So you go with Manju. Or first, I wouldn't say don't do that yet. Advance Arch Ritual, okay. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, go away. Now you summon a Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Reveal a Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon come out. Now we're playing Blue Eyes now. Okay. If it's gone, you have a Blue Eyes in your in your graveyard blue eyes jet dragon dark master zork okay summon out Contract. Send away blue eyes. Summon out Zork. Now, if you do the effect and you roll six, it's going to still kill your blue eyes chaos max dragon because it can't be targeted by my, by my opponents. Only my opponents. So if I rolled the six, oh, damn it, I did roll the six. It would have wiped out everything. But remember, let's just play with you're not it's going to it's not going to hit you. Okay, one, blow up my opponent's monsters. Blow them all up. But if it was the sixth, then yeah, I would have been wiped out. Melody of the Awakening. Okay, just... If it's gone, it's gone. But I have a blue eyes Jet Dragon already on the field, so... Draw. Melody of the Awakening. Send away. Reveal, special summon. If you wish to do the effect, okay, but then Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon would not be able to attack. If you want to take a risk, oh my God, that would have been blowing off everything once again. But if we're just playing, yeah, if we're, that's, okay, that's going to be hitting you, but let's just say it wasn't, okay, three. It would have blown up one monster on the field, one of my opponents. Draw, Harpy's Fire Duster, but then, yeah, now you see how the deck is. So, yeah, it is risky when you use Dark Master Zork. You just do not want to roll the six. But if you have, yes, Lord of Red, and then you saw right here, then you're going to have to negate that. But it would still blow up an opponent's monster on the field. All right, then, so that's how the deck is if you're using three Ritual Monsters. So, Blue Eyes Cast Max Dragon, Dark Master Zork, and a Lord of Red. So, again, three 
Good show, monsters. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll speak to y'all later. Peace.